Hi, I'd like to welcome you this week and ask you a question. How are you running your race? Listen to this word, 1 Corinthians 9, 24. Do you not know that in a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Keep listening to the end, and I'm going to give you seven admonitions. Today, I'd like to give you the ABCs of how to run a successful race. Remember, we are all in a marathon and we all have our own race to run and our own race to win. A is to take action. B is to choose correct behaviors. And C is to have consistency or be consistent. Action. If you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. If you don't step forward, you're always in the same place. That's the quote from Nora Roberts, an American author. Remember, action is everything. If you don't begin, you can't finish. And if you never start, there is no way you can ever possibly win. You have to go after it ask and step forward. This should be obvious, right? Have you ever seen a runner not begin to run and take off after the gun went off? No, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? Well, you're not taking action is crazy too. Think about it. So take action right now. In fact, take a minute, get a pen and a paper, and you can stop this video until you get it. And write down one thing you can do right now for your life, today. What is that one thing that you can go after, that you can find out or ask about, or that you can step forward to obtain? Don't let another day go by without you taking action. So the A was for action. The B is for behavior, your behaviors. Financial girl Dave Ramsey says, you must be willing to change your behavior to win. And that's so true. If you don't change what you think or how you feel, you probably won't be able to move forward and to win. And you have to remember that everything counts. Our behavior matters, our thoughts matters, our thoughts matter and our ideas shape us. Every day we are writing a chapter in our story. Every day we determine where we end up that day, whether ahead or behind. You have one life to live, so live it well. By keeping control and in track of your attitudes and have a resolve to be fixed and consistent. The Bible calls this having a steadfast mind and a steadfast spirit in Psalm 51.10. The C is for consistency or being consistent. Being consistent means that you can't always be changing your mind. Being unstable is not a good quality. You have to press on. If you don't successfully finish your race, you will regret it. Philippians 3.14 says, I press on toward the goal to win the prize. Life is like a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Albert Einstein said that. I'm telling you today to just keep pedaling. And you have to keep running your race no matter what. The Bible also says in Philippians 1.6, being confident of this very thing that he who began a good work in you will perform it or complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. So remember to continue to run your race. This reminds me of when I was actually in high school in Indio, California, and I was trying to learn how to run the 50 yard dash race. And I really didn't like running that much. And the track coach was trying to get me to try out because he thought maybe I would be able to be successful. So the only race I could really figure out maybe I could do was the shortest race possible, which, is, which was the 50-yard dash, which they don't even have now. So even though I stumbled and sometimes tripped over my feet, being pigeon-toed and all, 
and wasn't really sure how to get it, you know, the rhythm, I was finally able to persevere and actually was able to enter some of the track meets and be successful and even win a few races. So I say all that to say, even if you stumble, even if you fall, you have to still take action and you have to still just believe that you can get to the finish line and, you know, watch your behaviors, like I mentioned earlier, and just keep going and keep being persistent. Okay, here's my seven admonitions. Number one, and this is the key to your race, don't let distractions derail you. Number two, people are watching. Number three, your children are watching. Number four, your neighbors are watching. Number five, your friends are watching. Number six, be a finisher. And number seven, keep moving forward. Be sure to like and subscribe and share. And if you'd like, leave a comment. God bless you.